Well, science class is in session mm -hmm. and our teachers are from the Great Lakes Science Center. Oh, and we have students as well. We have Madeline, right? Jalen, and also Robin from the Great Lakes Science Center to let's do some science experiments. Take it away for this us. This is fun. We're, 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 are you ready? We're in our lab we're coats. We've got our safety gear on. We're ready. This is probably one of my favorite days to come to the studio because I see in the audience all of this unlocked potential and you may not see it just like you can't really see anything in this aquarium but it doesn't mean that there's not something in there so Jalen go ahead and blow some bubbles and we're gonna see what happens we know because bubbles have mass that gravity is gonna pull them to the earth but Jalen is gonna defy gravity okay. by blowing some bubbles and seeing what happens when he puts them in the aquarium now it might look like there's nothing in there but let's blow some bubbles and see what happens a little bit softer we're gonna notice that they actually find a point where they start to hover. They defy gravity because there's a gas in here that we can't see. That gas is called carbon dioxide. And each and every one of the students in this room and anybody who's watching this has the opportunity to make a positive impact on the environment. Because while we may not necessarily see it, it doesn't mean it's not there. Mm -hmm. So Holly and Madeline, you're gonna drop a little bit of this solid carbon dioxide. But first, we, I must <laughs> yes. put on this yes. protective Safety first. Stuff. Yeah. I better not touch anything. So, don't, don't. So okay. carbon dioxide, when it's solid is about 109 degrees below zero. So safety gloves, safety glasses. We're gonna put it into these two shorter containers and we're gonna watch what so happens. So just any one of these? Yeah, just yeah. one drop. And go ahead, Madeline, you can do the other one. Ready? One, yeah, perfect. Two. And we're gonna watch what happens. Okay. Look at this. Now some might say that's magic, but what's really happening is it's solid. Carbon dioxide turns into carbonic acid and it changes the pH of that water. So when we release carbon dioxide into the environment, it's changing things that we may not ordinarily get to see. And why this is super important is because we are on the precipice of change and it's Jalen and Madeline and everybody in here that's going to help get us into the future, like getting to the moon and then to Mars. Ooh. So in order to do that, we okay. need to explore a little bit of alternative energy. And Madeline, That's we've been experimenting job. with this copper and copper is pretty conductive. So why don't you go ahead and show them what happens when we make these little copper motors and put them on batteries and magnets. Okay. Go ahead, Danielle. So she's, okay, so you, yeah. you gotta walk me through this. To just set it on top. Try. Wow. Oh, so we've created this field of energy and it's finding alternative sources of energy that are not only going to help preserve our planet here on Earth, but help to make living on the moon and eventually to Mars a possibility. So Madeline and Jalen have been practicing. They're going to drive our Martian robots on the wow. surface of Mars. Are okay. you ready? This is cool. All right, here you we'll go, Madeline. this over here, I gotcha. Yes. So we are in the Artemis generation. So what that means is that by 2024, NASA mm -hmm. is going to put the next man and the first woman on the moon. And from there, we're going to go from the moon all the way to Mars through the Artemis project. So this is an experiment that we do with kids to teach them about how we can use robots to make sure that we are safely experimenting in environments that are really oh. just not habitable for humans. So Are we I looking get at the this surface is, of Mars? Yes, yes. Yeah. Oh my, yes. <laughs> so I recognize that red rock. <laughs> mm -hmm. The red rock. And they're trying to find the ice. Those are the, 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 the uh, snowballs. The snowballs yeah. there? Yeah, and okay. bring them back to our habitats. Now, how are they controlling it here? Is it so, through just an iPad? It is. So this is a, it's called a Spiro robot. Okay. And there's a lot of different uh, possibilities uh -oh. with these robots. Mars. Oh, no. <laughs> it, it's okay. It'll it's just, okay. It'll just float. <laughs> right. <in space. laughs> it's right. True. right? Um, so there's a lot of different ways that we can take this robot. You can either just drive them manually, you code them and program them and have them do all kinds of really, really cool uh, things. And it's by staying curious and it's by I'm experimenting sure. and trying all kinds of different things mm -hmm. that these students are going to unlock their potential. Potential. But you really touched on something special oh, yeah. earlier when you said, you know, this is our future. Oh, yeah. And do you find, oh, as you interact with kids every day, yeah. Rob, mm -hmm. I mean, it's just so cool, everything you do at the Science Center. They learn when they're having fun. They're oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, you For make sure. it so much fun. Yeah. And, you know, the, the really exciting and the cool thing, honestly, is oh. that it's important to try everything. So you might not think that you like robots, but right. then you I do this and, and you find your future. So try as much as you can, experiment, and you're going to find something that you're absolutely passionate about, and then just pursue that passion and you're gonna be successful.
They uh -oh. are into these robots Runaway here. robots. So, so tell me, Madeline and Jalen, what did you guys learn a little bit, really quickly? Anything? I learned. Robots gone wild is what's you, happening. You learn what? Don't touch dry ice. Don't touch dry ice. That's a good lesson. <laughs> Madeline, what about you? She is into this robot. Chasing the robot. She is into the robot. It's okay. It's in orbit. But That's we right. learned that Madeline likes robots, That's and right. maybe somebody's kids at home will also yeah. like them. And, and we yeah. constantly have programs oh, and do. things and activities happening. Yeah, so we've got all kinds of programs for students and families alike. So we've got spring break camps coming up in March and in April. We've got summer camps. Registration is going to be open or soon. GreatScience.com for all of that information. We've got family programming over President's Day weekend, so it's going to be cold the kids are looking for something to do come to the science center we have always all kinds of new activities and fun hands-on learning all right we learned a lot today we, sure we not right yes we and did. robin and uh, the entire staff and crew over at the great lake science center thank you so much and madeline to, come on back over yeah, here, over here. <laughs> she's, she's in she orbit is, with the she robot is, and she loves it but it's again <laughs> great you science greatscience.com great for right. more information greatscience.com well, this was fun. This segment of It's About You was furnished by the Great Lakes Science Center.